Hello students, I am Kamal and I am welcome you on the fourth tutorial lecture on partial fraction. Okay, now in the case two, we are going to see the partial fraction of a rational expression in which the denominator is contains some repeating linear factor. So let's take an example for understanding this. So I am taking this example. 3x plus 1 by x minus 2 whole square into x plus 2. Now, this is the repeating linear factor and this is non-repeating linear factor. Okay, now the partial fraction form of this will be look like a by x minus 2 plus b by x minus 2 whole square plus c by x plus 2. Now we need only to find out the value of a, b and c. Okay, I am rubbing this. If we take the LCM of these three guys we will get here a into x minus 2 into x plus 2 plus b into x plus 2 plus c into x minus 2 whole square and it will be equals to 3x plus 1. Now I am doing the problem by the use of substitution method okay I am first using substitution now I can simultaneously make this term and this term equal to 0 if I put x is equal to 2 if I put in this equation x is equal to 2 then this term and this term will simultaneously get 0 okay so putting x equals to 2 this equation will be will reduce like if we put x is equal to 2 we will get 3 into 2 plus 1 plus equals to sorry this term will get 0 because here is we get 2 minus 2 2 minus 2 is 0 and here also we get 2 minus 2 so we will get here b into 2 plus 2 okay so the value of b that i am getting from here is b equals to 7 by okay now if i put x is equals to minus 2 if i put x is equal to minus 2 then this and this term will get 0 because here we get 2 minus 2 and here also we get 2 minus 2 okay so uh, now i'm putting x is equal to minus 2 in this equation plus 1 is equals to we will get uh, the value of c directly minus 2 minus 2 whole square minus 2 minus 2 is minus 4 minus 4 ka whole square is 16 okay so the value of c that i am getting from here is minus 5 by 16 now we only need to find the value of a for finding the value of a I am expanding this equation okay I am writing here the value of B and C C would be equals to minus 5 by 16 now I am rubbing this if I expand this I will get from here is a into x square minus 4 plus b into x plus 2 plus c into x square minus 4 x plus 4 okay if we take the coefficient of x square separate then i am getting here is a plus c into x square and if we taking the coefficient of x then we get b 
माइनस फोर सी एक्स एंड माइनस फोर ए प्लस ट्वाइस ऑफ बी प्लस फोर टाइम्स सी ओके नाउ दिस इज इक्वल्स टू थ्री एक्स प्लस वन एंड हियर वी डोंट हैव द कोफिशियंट ऑफ एक्स स्क्वायर सो आई एम राइटिंग हियर जीरो एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस थ्री एक्स प्लस वन ओके सो ए प्लस सी इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो इट मीन्स दैट वैल्यू ऑफ ए वुड बी इक्वल्स टू माइनस ऑफ सी एंड द वैल्यू ऑफ सी वी हैव फाइंड आउट ओके सो द वैल्यू ऑफ ए डेट आई एम गेटिंग फ्रॉम हियर इज फाइव बाय सिक्सटीन सो ए वुड बी इक्वल्स टू फाइव बाय सिक्सटीन सो द पार्सल फ्रैक्शन ऑफ दिस वुड बी इन प्लेस ऑफ ए आई एम राइटिंग फाइव बाय सिक्सटीन इन प्लेस ऑफ बी सेवन बाय फोर and in place of c minus 5 by 16 okay i am taking another example <coughs> x square plus 1 upon x minus 1 The whole square into x plus two. The same person that I we have done in the previous question, we are applying the same concept in this question also. Okay, so the partial fraction form of this would be equals to a by x minus one plus b by x minus one whole square plus c by x plus two. Now, if we take the LCM of the, these three terms, we will get here. A into x minus one into x plus two plus b into x plus two plus c into x minus one whole square. This will be equals to x square plus one. Now, first I am using the substitution method. Okay, I am putting x is equal to one. When I put x is equal to one, then this term and this term will get will be get eliminated because this one minus one will become zero and this one minus one will become also zero. So directly we can get the value of b. So the value of b that I am getting from by putting x is equal to one is one square plus one is equal to b into one plus two. So the value of b that I am getting is B is equals to two by three. Okay, now I am substituting x is equals to minus two. Now I am putting x is equal to minus two. Then this term and this term will get eliminated. Okay, so directly we can find out the value of c. So if we put minus two in this equation, we will get here minus two plus square plus one. Is equals to c into minus two minus one whole square, which is equals to minus three ka whole square, which is equals to nine. So here I'm getting nine c. Okay, so the way and this will become five. Nine c is equals to five. So the value of c would be equals to five by nine. Now for finding the value of a, we again, I am writing here the value of b that is equals to two by three and c five by nine. Now I am rubbing this. Now for finding the value of a, I am expanding this. That is, I am x square minus. Uh, X square plus two x minus x minus two, which is equals to x plus x minus two plus b into x plus two plus c into x square minus two x plus one. That will be equal to x square plus one. Now. We are taking common the coefficient of x square and x and the constant term. Now, a and c, a plus c, 
in this equation is the coefficient of x square and a plus b minus 2c are the coefficient of x in this equation and minus 2a plus twice b plus c these are the constant term and it is equals to x square plus 1 now if we compare the right hand side and left hand side of this equation we, we will get here a plus c is equals to 1 we have already calculated the value of c so i am directly putting the value of c in this equation so a would be equals to 1 minus c n plus of c i am writing 5 by 9 so the value of a that i am getting is 4 by 9 so a would be equals to 4 by 9 okay now i'm putting directly the value of a b and c here 4 by 9 in place of b 2 by 3 in place of c 5 by 9 you can also find out the value of a b and c by comparison okay here if we compare here we will get a plus b minus 2c is equals to 0 and minus 2a plus plus twice b plus c is equals to 1 okay if you put a is equal to 1 minus c in this equation this this equation you can solve then for a and b and you can very well easily calculate the value of a b and c what you need to do is put c is equals to 1 minus a in this equation you will get here a plus b minus 2 1 minus a equals to 0 and here also you put in place of c 1 minus a is equals to 1 so this will become minus 3a plus 2b equals to 0 minus 3a plus twice of b equals to 0 and here you will get minus 2 plus twice a equals to 0 2a plus a 3a plus b is equals to 2 so you have got two equation and there are only two variables which can be solved very very easily if you add both the equation you will get here the value of b this will get cancel out and this will become 3b equals to 2 and b equals to 2 by 3 same as that i have found by this method okay now the value of a you can find out by this using this equation in place of b you will write 2 by 3 i am taking this equation here 3a plus in place of b i am directly writing 2 by 3 equals to 2 okay so a is equals to 2 minus 2 by 3 2 minus 2 by 3 if we take the lcm that is 3 to the 6 minus 2 4 by 3 equals to 3a and the value of a that i am getting is a equals to 4 by 9 and c is equal to 1 minus a so c would be equal to 1 minus 4 by 9 c equals to 1 minus 4 by 9 so the value of c would be 1 minus 4 by 9 is equals to 5 by 9 so the same results i am getting by comparison also okay i hope that this video will be helpful for you all and do like and share the video and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you so much